Fatal Push, Falky, 3-drop. I mean, this hand has a curve, right? Yeah, that is a good one. I like that. I like that quite a bit. And speak the truth in this chat. This song's a banger. Uh-oh. Well, guess. Literal monk ass. They're up to no good. <laughs> yeah, we're dead. <laughs> Reveal Sphinx of Foresight. Scry three. Yeah, you win. I, I'm, I'm dead. I can't win. <clears throat> you know what I want to listen to right now? So I can prepare myself for the concert next week. We're going to listen to this album. Incubus D's Nuts. Harden these nuts. All right, I cast Valky, God of Lies. Probably have to draw a release to the winds to win to have a shot at this game, but. Cards you could play that work with the winds casting trick that can replace proxy. Um, I mean, it really only, like, the cards that it is most powerful with are Valky and the prototypes. That's pretty much it. Lashway, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime. Much appreciated. Hope you're having an excellent day today. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really work that much with, with much else, I think. Unless I'm missing something. I could be. Redain, huh? Guess I'll take that. Oh, I can just copy their Redain. Wait, that's crazy, right? So, they played Xander's Lounge... Oh, but if I release, they just binding it, huh? Hmm. Well, this is awkward because they have double binding. Well, they can't cast binding now. But what I'm saying is if I release the Valkyrie, they can just untap and cast binding. Well, they untap and then cast the binding, which is still not good for me. Like, <laughs> I'm not getting much out of the Valky trigger. You know what I mean? I'm only getting one card out of it. I kind of just want to redeem here. I think I'm going to redeem. I think I like that. And honestly, if they play Fable, I think I might release the Valky and then down tick on the Fable token. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I think I like this better. So this means their bindings currently cost five, right? Yeah, they currently cost five. If you could fit Founding of the Third Path, you can release the Saga and get back value. Same as true if you go Grixis with Fables. Oh, because you can release any permanent. I see what you're saying. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, I mean, release Founding is interesting. It's kind of mid, but it is something else you could do with it. That is true. Like, I thought about playing Founding over the extra two mana removal spells. Because Founding is also good with um, See the Truth. I mean, I don't think the card is bad. It's just, like, more wheel spinning, which is what we... We already have enough of that shit, you know? Like, I don't think the card's bad. It's, it's just more of what we already... It's more of the same. We're looking for... We're looking for cheaper cards. Like, ideally, one mana cards, which is why we're playing Opt, right? We just want to lower the curve. Like, we have so many threes that we have to lower the curve. And like, like, like somebody else was talking about earlier, having more ones means you get to go three plus one in that turn cycle, which is good. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to release yet. I'm going to just push this and play a three, three. So the, the issue with releasing here is I give them, um, I, I, they can, they're no longer locked under Redain. That's why I don't want to release here. Lutri, huh? Lutri plus release plus Sedgemore Witch for infinite tokens. How does that work? Lutri release Sedgemore Witch. How does that work? Is it release the winds of Super Wars Ephemerate? Yeah, but Ephemerate's not legal. Six mana plus Lutri plus release is infinite magecraft. Lutri copy release. Wait, I'm confused. No, it, it, that doesn't work, right? Because you go release the Lutri. The release is now resolved. When you cast the Lutri, what are you releasing? I'm confused. I don't get it. But the setup is up for Mana Traders by chance you have a discount code. Exclamation point. Mana Traders in the chat, KM Lin. As a matter of fact, I do have a discount code. If y'all want to check out Mana Traders, exclamation point Mana Traders in the chat. Dude, I can't wait for this concert next week. This show is going to be so good. There you go, KM Lin. You can use the copy to release Lutri. Yeah, but you can't... Oh, because Lutri, Lutri has Flash. So the original release... 
So you go release Sedgemore Witch, hold priority, Lutri copy release, release Sedgemore. No, that does. I don't think that works. I don't think it works. Unless I'm missing something. What'd they do? They cast the binding. No, they have another binding. So now we can go attack for three. At 11. Can go see the truth, try to find a land to play the Arcane Proxy. Go Proxy, see the truth. The old draw three cards, Joel. Draw three spells. They're not great spells, but... I don't know, whatever. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Release target Sedgemore, Lutri in response, Lutri ETB, copy, release, release, copy, Lutri. Oh, okay, okay, okay. For some reason, I thought you had to resolve. Okay, no, I get it now. I get it now. I get it now. I get it now. I'm sorry, chat. Streamer moment. Streamer moment. You have to remember, streamers are incredibly stupid. You have to remember that. So it takes me a little bit longer to process things than somebody who's not a streamer. Yeah, can everybody just want to spam all caps Lutri copy? Fires Sphinx, huh? Fires Sphinx. We got some options this turn, chat. We got some options. If I go Power Word, kill the Sphinx, and attack with both. Kind of like that. All right, let's go these two. Power Word, kill Sphinx. I don't think they're going to trade. If they trade... I can potentially, before damage, release the proxy. But I don't think they're going to trade. Okay, so they go to five. Six, sorry, six. So I could release proxy, cast flashback release, release flesh gorger. They're at six, and I have a seven power flesh gorger, which they can't binding. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. You can also hold up consider, I guess. So let's release this. <laughs> yeah, if that doesn't win the game, I don't think this deck wins. I agree. <laughs> if this isn't good enough, and I don't know what is. Yeah, they can't target this. They can't target the Flesh Gorger once I get it back. Alright, proceed. Your turn. Never heard these guys before. Yeah, I'm actually I'm going to see this band next next Thursday. I'm so excited. I haven't seen them live yet. I'm so hyped for this show. They are so good. Never lead tree companion for lead tree main. Oh, okay, 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 I gotcha. <laughs> well, Otter has to brew with lead tree. We we have the Otter command, right? Does the Otter command still work? Yeah, it does. Let's get the Otter arrives. Now that we're talking about lead tree. Everybody's favorite otter. Lane line binding. Is this a Pepe laugh moment? I think this might be a Pepe laugh moment. Ah, Pepe laugh. Pepe laugh. Oh, it also just gets countered because they don't even have the seven life. <laughs> that was indeed a Pepe la moment. <laughs> Lit. All right. Uh, against fires of invention, huh? On the, when the inventions have been fired, it's got Fatal Push. Uh, I I don't know about Power Word Kill. I could, I could see keeping Power Word Kill. Definitely going to bring in these three. Definitely going to bring in Duress. This is 61. Um, I've got the second Power Word Kill. It still kills Cavalier Flame, which is not irrelevant. This looks pretty good, right? Kind of cut an opt for a second Power Word Kill. Yeah, you're probably right. I, th I think we need this to be able to handle calves and stuff. It also kills Fable. Kills the Sphinx. Kills Kenrith. Yeah, I probably need the Power Word kills. So, oh yeah, I didn't update Stream Decker. I cut the two Shieldreds and the Malakir Rebirth for three Opts. And then I cut something in the sideboard for the fourth Extinction event. What did we cut in the sideboard? We cut the, oh, the Brutality. Yeah, Brutality sucks. Brutality super mid. Uh, I mean, I think we keep. It needs a discard spell, but I think we keep. Yeah, so we have minus two shielded, minus one rebirth, 
plus three opts. I'm just updating Stream Decker right now while I have a second. What do I think the best card in Bro is? Um, for Pioneer, it's really close. There's a lot of good cards. I think Obliterating Bolt might be. I don't know. It's close. I like. I, I think Obliterating Bolt is so massive. I didn't add the opts. Like it's 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 weird because Obliterating Bolt only seems like a small upgrade, but it is a massive upgrade. I don't know if Might's the best card for Pioneer though. I agree that Might might be the most impactful for Modern, but I don't really think Might's that impactful in Pioneer. Yeah, Obliter just like giving the red green deck a removal spell that is good against blue white control is like it changes the matchup, the the dynamic of the matchup so much, you know. It's so crazy how much the matchup shifts. I think I top that. Interesting. Kind of just want to go Thoughtseize into Proxy Thoughtseize now. Fires Binding, Binding Sphinx. Um, I take both Bindings? No, I probably take Fires, Fire Sphinx. I'm going to take Fires. Uh, Haywire Bite. Haywire Bite. When do we get a roast that hits walkers? Probably never. So what's their hand right now? They played Odawara. So their hand is these four plus their draw step. I could just play Flesh Gorger. Because what am I taking with Thoughtseize if I proxy? I mean, it's, I guess it's good if they drew Fires. I kind of just want to take their threat too. But we have Power Word Kill for the Sphinx. Arcane Proxy is blue. Alright, thoughts ease you. Yeah. Remember the, the Oko joke? The food is green. Food is green. Proxy is blue. Huh? Why didn't they counter that? It's weird. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll take the dispute. Sure. Proxy is blue, yeah. Proxy Proxy is in fact blue. If you didn't know, Proxy is blue. So now, hopefully, they're going to go land Sphinx, then I can go see the truth, find a land into Power Word Kill. Okay. They didn't play the Mountains, so we know their last, we know their last two cards. I, I'm going to see the truth here. I know it may be a little bit greedy, but i got to hit my land drops with this hand. Okay, good. Killing this main phase so they don't get a scry. They do still have Kekruga. So they do still have Kekruga. They just f 6 Alright, I'm going to save Thoughtseize for Kekruga. I think I'm just going to use my mana as efficiently as possible and play Flesh Gorger. That also sets me up for, like, if I draw a land, I can Valky plus uh, release, maybe. I guess I was supposed to Thoughtseize take the Binding, because then if I draw a land, I can just go... Okay, well, this is perfect. <laughs> so now if I draw a land, we just go Valky release. A full art proxy. If you get a full art proxy, it's no longer blue. Alright, what you got? We know they have a mountain. I guess this... I get punished if they have a third binding. Alright, so they have these three cards. Why didn't they play fires? Oh, they couldn't... I guess they couldn't fires plus... Uh, they also didn't play their land. Why didn't they play their land last turn? What is happening? I'm so confused. <laughs> We got another Valky and a Sacred Foundry. Okay. I mean, now if they play Cav, I'm just going to down tick. A foil full art proxy. That sounds like, that sounds odd. Oh, right. Right. Now they can just go Cav plus activate. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Our Tibalt's still dead. That is unfortunate. I guess I didn't pay them enough. Come on, I'm, I'm, the PayPal's live. Don't activate Cav. The PayPal's live. I'll dump more money. Dump more money. Send my opponent more money. <coughs> Can't activate? Yeah, they can. Oh, no, it's two mana. Right, it's two mana. It's two mana. I don't know why I thought it was one. You're correct. They can't activate. So this is fine. We don't care. I don't know why... I th oh, I'm thinking of Kenrith. I'm thinking of Kenrith. All right, cool. Well, that was easy. Yeah, I was thinking of Kenrith. The happiest of sandwiches. 
the sand is pretty risky, but you know what? Fuck it, we ball. <coughs> sand is fuck it, we ball. Oh, looks like we might not be balling. Okay, so we got there. Yeah, I cut the Shieldreds and the Malachi Rebirth for three opts. So now that we've gotten there... Ugh, man, this is tough. Like, honestly, it's just not even good enough. Even if they don't have a removal spell, like, they just play Chariot. You know, our Valky just doesn't do anything on the draw. I think we just have to, but... Yeah, we're not beating that hand. We are not beating that hand. Did they forget to reveal Gigantha? They may have forgotten to reveal Gigantha. And if I play Flesh Gorger, they just get to take it or kill it. Yeah, alright, we're dead. I will move on. This matchup sucks. Maybe we have four extinction events, which I guess are good, but... And then these. What did we cut last time? I think we cut the Thoughtseizes. I think we trimmed on the See the Truth proxy stuff. And then maybe cut... I don't even know. Third opt. Alright, let's go with that. Yeah, they also, like, if you do the thing with Flesh Gorger, they just have four Crowin Wars to steal it. At least they forgot Giganta again. Alright, I guess I'll keep this. Opponent forgot to reveal their Giganta twice. Forgot to reveal Giganta twice. Uh, I will take... I don't need a third Flesh Gorger. I guess I'll just take Extinction Event. How's the deck looking? What's up, Mike? Thanks looking okay. I mean, it's it's fun. It's fun for sure. This is why we're not playing Gigantha. My brother in Christ. My brother in Christ. Chat, don't do this, please. <laughs> please don't do this. Listen, listen to me. But I, I, you know, I've I've played a shit ton of this red green deck. I've seen people do this. Just, just don't. Just don't. Easiest block of my life. Easiest block of my life. Mm. I think I'm just going to go Flesh Gorger Pass, and if they Chariot, then I can Extinction Event Evens. Could have held up Fatal Push, but... Yeah, I think this card's kind of mid. And by mid, I mean kind of bad. I don't, I don't even know what this card does. Minus three, make two, two, twos. Okay, so we just get it all. Even. Mm -mm. We certainly got a reader. Yeah, we certainly got a reader. Reader confirmed. Reader confirmed. We don't have a good answer to this boat, though, and they still have four cards in hand. Probably still going to somehow lose. Uh, I think I'm going to take Stroke. Because if I take Gust for Chariot, they just put the Chariot on top. I think I gotta get... I think I gotta high roll this Gust. K-A-O-S-H-C. Thank you for that Twitch Prime. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Max Punished. Maximum Punishment. Playable reanimation spells that would work in this deck. Mm, not really, I don't think so. I can't cast my spell. Having some difficulties. I just want F6. Why do they still have three fucking cards in their hand, by the way? Alright, I'm off it. I'm off it! I'm off it. Losing to bad version of red green. Tilt. Feels bad, man. Yeah, please don't play that green green 3 3. It's not good. It's just not worth giving up Gigantho. This is a public service announcement, chat. Do not, do not, not play Gigantha. As someone who's maybe played more red green, maybe not, maybe not more red green than S Man, but probably more red green than everybody else. Need more rebirth effects. The thing about Malakia Rebirth is it's just like the card just sucks. That matchup is just bad. Even it doesn't matter how how they build their deck. The, the matchup is just like fundamentally bad because they have a Crow War. So like your best plan against red green is to flip this thing into a seven five, but they just a Crow War it so.
Can we talk about how good this album is? Unreal good album. I have a feeling we're going to get queued into Red Greed again. We're going to lose, and then we're going to drop and play the Sweet Deck. That's what I have a feeling is going to happen. <clears throat> Gorger. Which one's Gorger? What, what Gorger are we talking about? Hmm. Double Valky. I mean, I do have one drop plus Arcane Proxy. This man is a little sketchy, though. I guess I can go, like, River, one drop, Tap Land, one drop. And then if I rip a land, I can proxy on three. I don't know what Gorger you're talking about. Oh, you're talking about Flesh Gorger. Okay, okay, okay. I was confused when you said Gorger, but yeah, yeah the Flesh Gorger. Gorgers plus Blacks, one mana CMC instance be better. Well, the issue with those cards is they don't work with Arcane Proxy. Uh, I think I'm just going to Fatal Push... Yeah, let's just go Fatal Push this turn. Next turn, maybe go Land Proxy. Yeah, so the reason that the one-mana cards aren't... They're good with Flesh Gorger, right? You can play Essence Flux, you can play Feign Death, any of that stuff. Uh, but they only work with Flesh Gorger because Arcane Proxy is only if you cast it. You don't get to, you don't get the trigger if, if you, uh, like, Feign Death or Malakir Rebirth this. So that's the issue, right? So at that point, maybe you make it, like... Maybe it's just a different deck where you just, like, maybe you're black-white with, you know, molt, like Feign Death, Malakir Rebirth. You can also play the Touch the Spirit Realm, and then you can pair those with, like, Steel Seraph and Flesh Gorger, right? Maybe you could do something like that. And maybe that's a better way to approach it. I can see that. Ah, Jabated. Jabated! But yeah, I think that would just be a different deck. But maybe that's a good way to approach it. <clears throat> yeah, Soul Hoarder's not legal. That would be sick if it was, though. Soul Hoarder plus uh, Prototypes. That would be kind of sick. The new 4-drop Urtai. The one with Flash. That card's not too bad. But again, it's like more expensive cards, you know. We're trying, we're trying to look for cheaper cards. The curve of this deck is already way too high. Yeah, that's the other issue, is, like, is Steel Seraph even worth a payoff? Like, is Steel Seraph that good of a payoff? I don't. I really don't think it is. <laughs> okay, they drew Fatal Push. That is unfortunate. I think I'm gonna try and... I might chump block here. Activating Takanuma. Get back Shieldred. Maybe they won't draw a land and they'll tap out for Shieldred. And then we can go Chump Block, Release Valky, Down Tick on Shieldred. Actually, I probably take this hit, because I want I want the if they don't have a land, I want the proxy to be able to protect the Valky. Fuck. I'm drawing a land there so bad for me. Um Alright, go next. Oh, actually, hmm. I could have went release proxy, flashback, fatal push, push shieldred, because I would have gotten a trigger. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I could have done that. Yeah, I could have done that. Didn't think about that. Hmm. What did we do the last time against Rakdos? We got the Thought Jesus, I think. I don't even know if we want any of these cards, though. I'm just going to submit. Like, Thought Jesus is not great against Rakdos, but I think the only way we beat them is trying to cheese them. And Thoughtseize helps set up the cheese, which maybe I should be bringing in Duress. Nice mana base. Mm. Is this hand even good if we draw a blue source? Probably not. Close if we draw a blue source, but... Let's ship this. This is, I guess, better. Go. <clears throat> Valky down. Your turn. My brother in Christ. All right, just got to cast this, I think. I mean, they're at 14, so even if they have Dreadbore, they have to pay three life, go to 11. I mean, not great if they have Dreadbore, but they have like a Fable here. It's not too bad. All right, I don't give a shit about that because I have Power Word Kill. 
uh, I guess I'm actually going to wait to consider because depending on what they do, I might want to consider for something else. I guess I didn't need to main phase the power work kill, but if they have fatal push, main phasing gets better because that'll give them a revolt trigger. Okay. Also fine. Mm, they have two cards. I think I'm topping that. Hmm. All right, I don't... I could probably Valky first to see if there's a Fatal Push. I might still just want to Power Word Kill main phase anyways, but... Let's play Valky, see what's up. It's a good one. That is a good one to take. So they have Takanuma. I think I'm just going to Power Word Kill main phase... It's a lot better if they draw Fatal Push, because I don't want them being able to kill this. All right, last card's Takanuma. If they brick their... Uh, well, I mean, yeah, if they, if they draw a land here, they're super dead, right? Because they just can't ever kill this. Like, they go to they go to one, I just flip the Bone Crusher. I mean, that's, like, worst-case scenario. Still can't block the Flesh Gorger, though. Uh... Mm. I mean, I'm still going to cast it. I'm at 22. Like, I don't really care. Take a little bit of damage from the shield red. Oh. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> that is, in fact, a good one. Uh, so, had it? So, had it, or... So, had it, or... My shield red now. My shielded now. Hello and good luck. You're at five. So now even if they kill the Flesh Gorger, they go to two and they just die to the shielded. So I don't really think they have any outs. Easy clap. I mean, now they have Bone Crusher in hand, but that doesn't really get them anywhere. I guess they can stomp the Tibalt, but we can still play the shielded. So I don't think that matters. Yeah, Tibalt down. So, cast Bone Crusher dead on board. I guess if they drew a removal spell for the Shieldred and upkeep, they can go upkeep, removal spell, kill Shieldred, draw exactly Liliana. But, yeah, they're dead. Alright, game three. Yeah, let's just keep listening to Counterparts. I'm down with it. Counterparts is, in fact, based. Yeah, this is... I did not know this was a Magic Aids deck. I originally copied this list from... the, the Where I got the list from was a 5-0 League Dump, so I guess... I don't know. I don't think that was Magic Aids. I think somebody else 5 would with it. But somebody in chat pointed out that it was from a, a Magic Aids video, so... Shout out to Magic Aids for, I believe, the original idea. Steam, the, the one Steam Vents is for potentially hardcasting Valky. It's not going to come up very often, but it's... The first Steam Vents is pretty low opportunity cost. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what land I want to put back. So I'm obviously going to keep this hand. I think the second Watery Grave can probably go... What, the first hand? Alright, no thoughtsies. That's good. I'm going to take their two drop, hopefully. Well, their hand sucks. Their hand is not very good. Mm -mm -mm. I was going to say I don't have the shock to play the See the Truth, but might as well cast it now. Because finding a second proxy is good if they draw Thoughtseize. I'll take a Flesh Gorger. So that way I have a play even if they have a Thoughtseize. Yeah, just discard a land here. Oh, they have Harvester. Okay, okay, okay. So we know they have Kroxa, Sokens on Ridge. They play Blood Crypt. Okay, so we know their hand is Kroxa, Sokens on Ridge. I will, uh, you know, draw three cards. No big deal. No big deal. Just the 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 old best mold drifter of all time. You ever just cast a three mana two one that draws three against Rakdos? It feels really fucking good. It feels really good. CN for president. Thank you for the thirteen months. Appreciate you, buddy. Welcome back. Let's get some doom hype in the chat. 
Man comes up with some real piles. Always interesting to watch. Do you find it funny? Spend like an hour trying to break domain and then printed Leyland for him. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, I think we just take the tree to keep our life total high. It's a bit worse if we draw release, but release is still good with this. And we have Valky for release. Oh, ah. Uh, I guess I can't Flesh Gorge or plus Fatal Push now. Maybe I shouldn't have played the Pathway last turn. I should have played the Watery Grave, probably. I'm gonna think about this. Hmm. I guess I could Flesh Gorge or consider. It's probably fine. I think that's okay. I guess we know they have Kroxa. Oh yeah, I need to save the Fatal Push for the Kroxa. So yeah, I don't want to cast Fatal Push anyways. Yeah, because now if they Kroxa me, I just discard the second Valky. Cast Consider, Fatal Push the Croaks on my turn. Move on with my life. Have we cast See the Truth off of Tibalt's Plus yet? This deck is sweet. We have we have a couple times, Bailey. You should go back and watch the, the match I played against Monogreen. I I ended the game with... Uh, the, so I boarded out my Flesh Gorgeous because I thought that they were just too slow. I, didn't want any, I wanted to cut three drops. And I ended up ulting Tibalt and carning for a Flesh Gorger. And then I also had a cure in play, so I got the draw card off of the Flesh Gorger. It was, uh, it was something. It was, it was, a, it was a match. It was indeed one of the matches of all time. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was wild. Uh, I'm just gonna top that, I think. Yeah, no blocks. I mean, I'm just gonna keep playing Flesh Gorgers. I think that's fine. Could just go Valky Flesh Gorger here. Yeah. I even had a Nykthos. I, I I had like an old growth troll, a Nykthos Kiora, and I got to like plus mana with the Nykthos. I it was it was a game. It was it was indeed a game. There was some wild shit going on. Alright, bro seed. They have a Kroxa in their hand, which they still can't flash back the one in their graveyard. Hive Kroxa. I don't care about Kroxa. Well, now I do, but I wanted them to spend all of their mana on Kroxa this turn because I had the push. Like, this was kind of max punishment, I guess, by not having the Kroxa, but... Oh, right! I could have... Oh, fuck, I forgot about that. Yeah... Shit. I should have taken the Kroxa. Yeah, I forget that you can do that. God damn it. That was a punt. Fuck. I guess I can discard land and then make a Kroxa. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Totally forgot about that. Well, you know. Something something never punished. Why would I ever get punished for doing anything, you know? Realistically... Why would I ever get punished for doing anything? You know what I mean? It's like, I just, you know, why would I ever get punished? Uh, I think I'll leave back one. I think I'll leave back one. Because I do, I do want to protect the tip alt. Alright, they're off it. Yeah, why would I ever get punished for anything, you know? Why would I ever... You know what I realized, Bailey? <laughs> we got shit on by, uh, by Gruel Vehicles. So I did the thing where I went Flesh Gorger and I, so I, I went Flesh Gorger, release it. And uh, I, I think you probably know what happened after that. I think you can, you could probably figure it out from there. That's all I'll say. But I, w I would recommend not doing that against Gruul. Not the best idea. We did take a game off Geeklio last, last league. But yeah, like we... We, we kind of, like, forced his hand on the first Akroan War, and I was like, I just said to myself, I'm like, fucking, I can't beat the second one. So I, like, made the 7-5, and then he drew the second Akroan War. Where, like, maybe I could have played around the second one, but... Uh, this hand's not awful. Put back the second Flesh Gorger. Yeah, so the way that prototypes work with Release of the Winds is you cast the prototype half, and then if you Release of the Winds your prototype, you can cast the big half for free. So that Release of the Winds works with both Flesh Gorger and, um... Arcane Proxy. But it also happens to work with Valky, so it's like a little bit of double synergy there, you know? It's like actually more reasons to put Release the Winds in your deck. Now, granted, you do have a lot, you do have a lot of three drops. Your curve is not great. That's the issue with this deck. So if there's a way to fix that, that would be fantastic.
I'm not aware of one, though. Like, we added Op to the deck to try and fix that, but... Just to lower the curve a little bit. More one-drops. More deck smoothing. I love smoothing my deck. You ever just, like, sit down at the computer and you just you just want to smooth your deck, you know? Ever You ever get you ever be there? Am I the only one? I'm fucking starving. I don't know why. Starving. Where's the beef? Mausoleum Wanderer Numero Dos. Any good to drop that? Any good to drop that good for entering again and again? Other than the prototypes, I don't think so. Like, I couldn't really think of what else is good with Release of the Winds. But it's cool that you can... So, if you have Arcane Proxy, you can kind of do some chaining. So, if you have, like, Flesh Gorger and Proxy in play that are both three mana, you can go release the Proxy. Proxy for seven, flashback, release. Release, flashback, target the Flesh Gorger, and kind of, like, chain them, you know? So, you can do some cool stuff. What's up, Fire Shoes? The one and only Fire Shoes in the chat. What would Magic Twitter be without Fire Shoes? Magic Twitter wouldn't exist without Fire Shoes. Slip out the back. I've been slipped. Interesting. Um, uh, kind of just want to play a 3-3 lifelink. Because I believe we are in a racing situation. I could proxy power word kill, but I kind of want to, you know, get to this one and not this one. Adventure? What do you mean? Yeah, like Rakdos is kind of tough because they have Dreadbore for Valky. But outside of Dreadbore, there's not a ton that just straight up kill Tibalt. Okay. It's pretty good in a racing situation. Pain lands better than check lands. You actually don't have a ton of, like... So I thought... I actually had a castle Loctwain in this deck at first. But I realized you don't have a ton of actual land types. It's it's just four Watery Grave, one Urborg, one Swamp, and, and that's pretty much it. You don't really have much else past that. So those, those kind of, like, check lands and... Castles are really awkward in this deck because your meta base is mostly, you know, you have four pathways, you have the four rivers. Um, but yeah, I wasn't wasn't a big fan of those lands. Oh, the uh, the other ones. We have the slow lands in this deck. This deck would love Dark Slick Shores, but... So I can go proxy power word kill, target this, they sack this. I think that's fine. Then I can try to maybe release to the winds the proxy next turn. I don't know, we'll see what happens. I gotta pee really badly. I wanna let this resolve. I wanna go to the bathroom. Thank you. Mm -mm. I would like to cast my card. What say you? Alright, they sacrifice the 2 2. I will choose not to pay. They could also slip out the back. Could have spell pierce too, I guess, but. I don't know. I mean, sometimes it's a connection thing, but. Alright, run to the bathroom. Be right back. Still up on time, by the way. Obviously. Seven life, huh? Seven life. Seven. Okay, let's go see the truth. Need them to sack the Wanderer. Okay, they don't sack the Wanderer. Let's play Marsh. I guess they also might not... There's, like, a small chance they don't counter this. Depends on what they have. Word. Four, seven, nine. All right, so we're not technically dead. Because we go to ten and they have nine. If they draw any spirit, we're dead, bud. Tank Tank Spirit? What do you think, Chad? Tank Tank Spirit? I mean, realistically, I probably don't have any outs anyways, but... That's one thing I highly dislike while testing MTGA. People take forever to play. Is it, like, the same on Arena? I feel like on, on Arena, the client's a little bit more smooth. Dead. D E D dead. 
Right, let's bring in Extinction Event. Mystical Dispute. I think that's it. Uh, I'm going to trim on cantrips. These are ones. These aren't threes. I'm going to go down a proxy, down a see the truth. Four extinction events too many. It's also like not that great against Wanderer. But ideally I can I can fatal push Wanderer. I think I'm going to go like super far down on these arcane proxies. Not sure if that's right, but... Are we going to lag so I can crash this regularly? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, we gotta we gotta fire up the PayPal. When the PayPal has been fired up. Counterparts just hits different. So good. All right, I'll play first. Okay, mm I'm in. Double Thoughtsies. Mm -mm. Go Thoughtsies on one. Tap land Thoughtsies on two. Maybe like consider fatal push on three. Depending on what they do. Mm -hmm. sees you. Unlicensed hearse. Mm, I don't think I care about that card. Because I caught two proxies anyways, so... I don't think I care too much about the hearse. I'll let them have that. And I also don't have anything in my hand that, you know, hearse actually does anything against. In before immediately drawing the proxy after I don't take the hearse with the next Thoughtsies. All right, what you got? What you got? Dispute. <laughs> Literal Thoughtseize bug. Literal Thoughtseize bug. Do you think... Okay, type a one in the chat if you think they're going to draw a third Spell Queller. <laughs> What's up, Itachi? How you doing, buddy? 69... Instructions unclear. Where is the one? I will type 69 instead. Joel indeed. Are we still getting people with the Joel clickbait? My go live notification was, You've been gifted a sub. Type Joel to claim. You know, everybody. It's just, just a wall of Joels at the beginning of the stream. Just a, a massive wall of Joels. Was great. I debated a lot of people. A lot of people were debated. Ooh, top. I like that. Guess we know they have dispute now, but. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, you've been gifted a sub. Type Joel to claim. All right, what do we got, opponent? What do we got? Uh, man, they really went heavy on the graveyard hate, huh? Just don't care. I do not care. Do not care. I really hope they don't draw land and also tap out for Remorseful Cleric. I have a feeling that might not happen. Like, if they don't draw land, they might just pass with mana, but we'll see. And then they have Dispute Cleric. Can you cast Tybalt off of a Spell Quellered Valky? That is an excellent question that I don't know the answer to. I'm going to assume yes, probably, question mark? <laughs> Shit, now they have Dispute up. Kind of sucks. Yeah, last card's Dispute. Debating on attacking. Sure. I will take two. Minus two. Bro, you know where F6 is, right? You know where F6 is, right? It's uh it's it's the one it's the key that's above the seven. It's between F5 and F7. Like, we know where that key is, right? Surprise Valky Transform might get them if they attack. Well, no, I mean we know they have Oh, I see what you're saying. Like we can do that on the uh, on yeah. I see what you're saying. We can just hold this up and, and block, yeah. Okay, that's good. This is actually perfect, because now we can go leave this back, block the, if, if they attack, block the Cleric, activate Valky, untap, release with Dispute backup. That was, like, perfect. I guess if they draw an untapped land, they can Dispute and have three up to pay for my Dispute, so. Must of all, gifting a sub to Ocean, 
Thank you so, so much for the gifted sub. Much appreciated. <laughs> Thank you for claiming your sub. You'll love to see it. Thank you so, so much for the gifted. Much appreciated. Yeah, the, <laughs> the Joel actually worked. Also, chat, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Actually jabated. Just walked right into it. Actually jabated. Alright, we're reading. Now we are realizing the error of our ways. Mm, shame scoop? I mean, I'm at 10. They're not going to shame scoop, but... Would love it if Arena had better stops and auto yields, faster animations for all its issues. It's a good magic gameplay experience in its best moments. See, it wants to, it wants to pay more for better programmers. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, chat. I, I, a, the Arena gameplay, like, just the visual aspect of it is... It's good. Like, uh, you know, I'm not going to lie. It's it's visually appealing. It is very, you know, it's, it's good. You know, if Modern and Legacy and all the formats were on Arena, more people would probably play Arena. It's just the lack of formats. But... You know, when it comes to the actual gameplay itself, sans the bugs and visual bugs and stuff like that, it's it's a good client, you know, without with the bugs and stuff. But every client's gonna have bugs too. You have to realize that. But it, I, I just like I don't know. It's it's just like a it's a decent client. It's not that bad. Okay, so now they can pay for dispute, which is big sag. So we have to wait until we get to six mana. Because then on six mana, we can just go release pay for dispute. Play way more Magic of Pioneer was on Arena. I mean, it's it's almost on Arena, right? It's pretty close. We're getting we're getting a lot more cards. We're getting Nykthos, Mana Confluence, Brave the Elements, Soldier of the Pantheon, Muta Vault. Like this, this next Pioneer anthologies is so massive. Rending Volley. Like we're getting a ton of cards in this anthology. I, I, I'm probably going to play a decent bit more Arena. Uh, I'm gonna dispute that, I think. Are my Delve Spells at, though? Yeah, that's true. No, no Delve Spells. What are the other big cards that's missing right now, besides Delve Spells? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of, like, top-tier decks. Dreadbore. Dreadbore is a big one that's missing. Um, yeah, Hidden Strings. I'm trying to think of, like, looking at the big decks in the formats. Let's go. Dex, metagame, pioneer. Uh, mono green. After Nykthos, is mono green missing anything? Because we have calves. Trolls, Karns. Oath of Nyssa? Is Oath of Nyssa on Arena? Wait, is mono green fully powered on Arena right now? That would be wild. Oh, the Chain Veil isn't on Arena? That's hilarious. The Chain Mail. Or the Chain Veil. Dingo! Bing bong. Thank you for the raid. Can we get some bing bongers in chat? Much appreciated. Welcome everybody from Dingo Stream. Hope you did the binging and the bonging. And then Dingo with the five. Well, if you keep subbing to me, there's going to be no beef. In order for there to be beef, you have to you have to owe me something, right? Bing bong. Thank you again for the raid. Thank you again for the five, Dingo. Much appreciated. If you're new to the stream. Welcome, everybody. We're playing some Pioneer. Oh, I have six. No! Oh, actually, no. I wanted to have six, right? Because I don't want to cast the, the Valkyrie into the dispute. Yeah, yeah. So I cast the release, assuming they would dispute, and then I would just cast another release next turn. But also, I don't want to cast the Tibalt into dispute, so this makes sense, right? Because we know they have dispute. Have a good stream, but Take it easy. Have a good night, Dingo. What's missing from Grease Fang? Salvage? Is Salvage an arena? <laughs> Mass Fuerte. Thank you so, so much for the three months. Much appreciated. Yeah, chat, did you know if you have Amazon Prime, you get one free sub a month to any streamer of your choice? Could be me, could be anybody. Orbwa coming in with the five months of Prime. Thank you so much for the five. We have Salvage. Okay. Hmm. Do we think they have Rattle Chains? Why did I play my land? I don't know why I played my land. That was dumb. I should not have played my land. Foxfire coming in with a tier one. Thank you guys for all the subs. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for all the support. We're on a hype train. We got a level one train chat. <clears throat> choo choo. All aboard. Thank you guys for all the subs. Much appreciated. 
First train in a while. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Tassiger. Oh yeah, there's no delve spells on Arena, right? So we have Salvage. There's no Abrupt Decay. That Do you, do you think that that's going to be the next, like... Um, the next, like, remastered thing or whatever, where they put, like, a bunch of RTR stuff because we're missing Voice of Resurgence, which I guess is not that relevant. Dreadbore, Abrupt Decay, those are both pretty relevant. I'm trying to think of some other RTR stuff that's good. Uh, Ethereal Armor, but that's in this anthology that's coming up. Calling Evol... Oh, yeah, Evolution's a big one. Yeah, that's true. Evolution is a big one. Sphinx's Rev. I got, I got some bad news. Sphinx's Rev is not playable in Pioneer. I'm sorry. I hate, to, I hate to break it to you. I feel like that... I feel like somebody's mom who told them that Santa's not real after saying that, you know? Wait, Santa's not real? Uh-oh. I'm sorry. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to minus here because this is kind of a good debate if they have rattle chains. Because they change this, then I slam the extinction event. Who's the man in the suit? Yeah, nobody knows. Nobody actually knows. Do I do a modern deck text? I think I got Aspiring Spike type bliss. I think I got an Aspiring Spike type bliss with some spice. Yeah, we do modern deck text. You know, I like, I don't keep too much, I don't keep up too much on the modern format, but I still have like a general idea of what decks are good, you know? How are you still playing this deck? I mean, look at the clock. <laughs> That's a good answer to your question. <laughs> oh, wait, this is only game two. God damn. We're not even going to have time for the next deck. This is insane. Literally not going to have time for the next deck. Could have finished the league by now. Screamo fan? Yeah, I like Screamo. Sphinx is over for two, draw two, game two. What else can you get that in Pioneer? <laughs> Combat. Just gonna play Shackle Guys plus Flesh Gorger, I think. Uh, this one, and then that one. Shackle Guys. Four Year Strong is good. I like Four Year Strong. We're listening to a lot of counterparts today because I'm going to a counterpart show next week, so I'm like getting in the vibe, you know, getting in the mood. But I haven't seen counterparts live yet, and I'm super excited for next Thursday. If anybody else is going to be at the Boston Counterpart Show, I'll be there. I don't like the attack there. Don't want to lose Valky. I'm playing a flying blocker. Even if they have rattle chains, I have a blocker for rattle chains. Oh, I guess I could just tap with Shacklegeist. That's who you're saying. Sure, maybe it's better to just tap with Shacklegeist. All right, they shocked and scooped. Not for her. So I was going to play the Flesh Gorger. I could jump block with the Flesh Gorger. It's like not that bad. Not that I'd want to, but. It's so funny. I've lived in Massachusetts my whole life, but I just don't have a Boston accent. I mean, I could try. You ever, uh, you, you ever pack your car and have it yet? No, I don't like to rest that much, I think. Hmm, two tap lands, huh? Two tap lands. Yeah, Skyclave would have been bad. It kept seven. Uh, that sand's just too slow, I think. Need removal spells. I mean, not much better, but I think better. <clears throat> Love tap land tribal. Hey, I have an untap land in the sand. Maybe I'll find a second untap land. Where'd I get that shirt? Coalesce apparel and design! Exclamation point coalesce if you want to check out their merch can even use promo code Doomwink for a little bit of a discount at checkout. Not colorless. <laughs> not, not colorless. Coalesce. They got a lot of cool stuff there. I, ha I have a lot of Coalesce apparel. They have some really, really cool stuff. My favorite is the Merit Laid shirt. Alright, uh, ooh, well, they have this. I think I'm gonna main phase, mm. no, I actually should kill the Moswander. 
But I'm, I'm doing this main phase. So I don't want to get rattle changed. And I need this wanderer to die. Because I need to be able to try to get towards this extinction event. Currently wearing the Merit Lage 2020 shirt. There you go. And if you too want to wear the Merit Lage 2020 shirt, you know where to go. Man, I really wanted to play with the Scape Shift deck, but I don't know if we're going to have time tonight. We may have to put that one on pause. I still haven't gotten a message from Norm either about commentary. Because I thought I was doing commentary this weekend for Louisville, but I have not heard from Norm. Well, I can't do it tomorrow, because tomorrow's going to be donation decks. So tomorrow's already booked, to, booked out, basically. <laughs> that is true. All right, I'm just going to pack this one in. What are we, two and two? Eh, I'll play out the last match. Hopefully it goes quick. Dude, Dota Day is going to be fun. We actually have a modern deck tomorrow, believe it or not. Actually, Doom Lake playing modern? What is this? I only play modern when people pay me to. All right, so we have this and this. What do we have? So we got... We're actually playing Arcane, Proxy, and Modern tomorrow. I'm not going to tell you the rest of the deck, but I will tell you that it has Arcane, Proxy, See the Truth, and Life from the Loam. That's all I got. All right, you, you'll have to tune in for tomorrow for the rest of the deck. And then a Pioneer one. Ooh, this looks clean. It's like mono black mid-range, but with Flesh Gorger. I like this. This looks cool. I like this. I like it. Looks good. That's tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's do it. That's why I say, hey man, nice shirt. I'll play River on one in case they play a, a two drop that I want to push instead of opt. Obs on. Not pushing that. Chariot Wayfinder sees. All right, need to, need, to, need to find a Thoughtseize. That is not a Thoughtseize. Well, that that is indeed a Thoughtseize. So now the question becomes, do... <sighs> yeah, I'm just going to double Thoughtseize. I was thinking about playing Valky and just jamming, but... Funnily enough, would have got paid off if I had just jammed. Their hand's really good. Uh, take Wayfinder can't stay away. I think I actually just... God, this is bad. I'm going to take both Informants. I don't know if this is right, but... The reason I want to take the Informants is because they kind of pressure my Tybalt. So that's at least the thought process behind taking the Informants. They, like, provide... They provide more pressure to answer the Tybalt. Okay. Mm, they kind of bricked... It's not bad for us. So they have Overgrown Tomb, Sky Sovereign, Can't Stay Away, plus one unknown. And then the land they take off the Wayfinder. Yeah, it strands the boat in their hand too. Well, not really, because they can they're probably gonna just get the five mana. Like we're gonna play Valky next turn, then they're gonna play land four, then we're gonna play tip then we're gonna tip off them, and then they're just gonna do the thing, you know? Uh, I'm, I don't want to take more damage. I'm just going to hold up, not, not push. Yeah, so they have two more lands. So this is their hand. Streaming arena in our future. Maybe I'm thinking about it. Like when the, when the next historic or next explorer anthology comes out, which I believe is coming out next week. Don't quote me on that. It might be two weeks, but, uh, when the next explorer anthology comes out, I mean, maybe, <laughs> I actually, I have built both Rakdos Sack and Rakdos Midrange for Explore on Arena. I did build both of them. So we could play some Arena. Could play some Arena. 13th? Okay. The noose is loose. The noose is loose. So this is their hand. Hmm. Not ideal. Not ideal. Oh, wait, I needed a land. I don't know why I've been to land. That was bad, but never punished. So we'll go push that, attack for two, post-combat, release, cast Tybalt, uptick. And just, like, hope that's good enough? It might be. 
perhaps might be good enough, depending on what they draw. All right, play Tibalt. Upstairs. So Tibalt's at seven, which means they can attack it to five. Go land boat, put it to two, which is awkward because then I can't down tick on boat. <coughs> yeah, that's kind of awkward. Hmm. Need to find like a power word kill for the boat. That would be massive if I could find power word kill. It's my only thing that kills boat though. Yeah. Yeah, so Tibalt goes to two. Question. This is probably a stupid question. I probably know the answer. No, I'm not even going to ask it. Never mind. I know the answer. Uh, Okay, that's actually interesting. Yeah, another release of the winds is not awful. Huh. How do we do this? We know they have can't stay away. So, can play Stitcher Supplier, and they go attack Tibalt with everything. Wait, I could just down tick on the boat now, right? I could just go release the Tibalt, down tick on boat, play Supplier. Tibalt's on two. I have a 1-1 one, one to block Supplier. Tibalt goes to one, right? I feel like that's better than trying to just, like, Tibalt, you know, release the Tibalt on their turn. Yeah, I think I like that better. Let's do it that way. So let's go release the Tibalt. Play the Tibalt. Down tick on boat. Play land here. Play supplier. And we can hold up the opt. Yeah, this is way better. Because then we can just play the boat next turn. Yeah, mill three lands, which is pretty good, because I don't want to draw those lands. I feel like my leagues take so long. Compared to Spike's, like, Spike's average league takes, like, an hour and 15. And my average league takes, you know, a lot more than that. I don't know what it is. I mean, I, I maybe I play a little bit slower, but... Maybe it's just, like, the Pioneer games take longer. I don't know. Best 4-drop ever printed in MTG, in my opinion. Best 4-drop. Hmm, best 4-drop, huh? I mean... Recency bias is Shieldred, but there's got to be something better than Shieldred, right? I'm trying to think. Siege Rhino. Siege Rhino's got to be up there for impact it had on standard. <laughs> the answer is just four Ragavans. <laughs> Yogmoth is good. No, I think we're just talking creatures, Hatashi, not Splinter Twin. I assume we're talking creatures, but... <clears throat> I do try to explain my lines as much as possible. Can't stay away the informant. Okay. Trade win riders. Okay, my I think I think my answer is going to be Siege Rhino. I think we're only talking creatures. That's not good. That's not good at all. That is not good at all. They get to kill my tip alt. Very rude. Very, very rude of them. Hmm. I feel like we're dead. Yeah, alright. We'll go to the next game. We are, in fact, Didge. Hearse, go blank. Is Extinction Event good against Grease Fang? I feel like it's maybe not. Gust is only good against Chariot, but it's awful against Grease Fang. Uh, let's go... Her. These Fatal Pushes are actually not great, because we can't really... Oh, no, we can trigger Revolt off of Release. Kind of sketchy, though. Let's cut one of each of those, because we have a lot of threes. I'm going to cut a second proxy, actually. Just too many threes. Yeah, I think this is good. I don't know if I like Extinction Event. I mean, it's good at cleaning up Chariot tokens, but... Other than that, I don't think it's great against them. Okay, yeah, if we're not talking creatures, Jace is probably the answer. But if we're talking creatures, I guess Winota. What, ha what had a bitter, bigger impact on Standard? Like, if we're just talking Standard specifically... I guess it's it's hard to say because, like, Winota also impacted, you know, Pioneer, uh, Historic, and those formats didn't exist when Siege Rhino was around. But I'm trying to think... Oh, Omnath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about Omnath. Okay. Yeah, it's gotta be Omnath. How did I forget about Omnath? <laughs> yeah, Omnath probably a lot more impactful than Siege Rhino. Just casually forgot about Omnath. I should get that one, Lander. 
Uh, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll take Salvage? Because they have two Grease Fangs. Uro is a four drop chatting. Uro is a four drop chatting. Flame Tongue Gavu. Tell me how old you are without telling me how old you are. I was also around for Flame Tongue. <laughs> Dude, I'm old as shit. <laughs> It's okay, RMB. I mean, I don't know. I wanted it to be better than it is, but it's not. I feel like it's really not doing it for me, you know? I feel like it's really not doing it for me. Keep that. I'm going to opt out in case I find Thoughtseize. Discarded backup Grease Fang. Can draw three next turn. Like, I, I think this deck has potential. The issue. So, here's the issue. You kind of need enough stuff to go with Release to the Winds, which is why we're playing Phyrexian Flesh Gorger, uh, along with Arcane Proxy. But that's just, it's there's too many three drops. But the, the thing is, I don't know how to go about to fix that problem. Like, this deck just is naturally going to have a lot of three drops, because those are the cards that you want to play. They all work with each other. So it's just kind of weird, you know? Discard uh, opt. You know what I mean? It's just like the way that the deck is built, it kind of in you know, maybe there's just like a a, fun, a fundamental flaw. But again, I don't know how to go about fixing that. We tried to lower the curve by adding opt, but I don't think it works. I don't think it's been working out that well. It's cool for sure, but. <laughs> Started playing in 4th edition Ice Age. Okay, well, I didn't start playing at that time, but... Word is much different, Siphon Insight versus Rakdos. That's a cool idea, yeah. It's weird. I felt like the Rakdos matchup was bad. I, I did split games against it. I went 1-1 one -on -one against it today. Um, But I felt like when I played that matchup, I just kind of had to... Like, in the post-board games, I had to go basically... Like, I thought I had to go all in on the combo... So I was, like, keeping in thought teases when you don't normally want to keep in thought teases against Rakdos. So it was kind of weird, you know? But I felt like your best chance against Rakdos was just shoving the combo and hoping they didn't have it. I'm having the Lillian on two so bad. Played Rakdos three times today, went 2 one 2 one 2 -0. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh, I fucking love Shy Halud. As a matter of fact, we can we can get off the counterparts. I've been listening to counterparts for like two hours now. We can we can listen to something else, but I will play you my uh Dude, I jammed this song so much. Oh my god. This song is unreal. Unreal good how this how good this song is. Such a good song. You're gonna run it at the Orlando RCQ. Nice, nice, nice. If you don't mind RB, ship me your list. I'll take a look at it. I love the shell. Like, the shell is so cool. I want it to be good. The new Amity? I don't know. I don't think I've heard the new Amity. So we go to six. I feel like we might know one of the cards in their hand. I don't remember. Too lazy to look. Last weekend, we went to an RCQ. Me and Brennan Dakota were one, two, three. Nice. That's sick. What's Brennan playing? Was he still playing the, uh, the Gruel Fires deck? I think we might have known about that. Interesting. They have two cards in hand. Uh, I mean, I feel like this is a fuck it we ball situation. Yeah, I think this is a fuck it we ball situation. I can't beat much anyways. So we're just gonna say fuck it we ball. Ice cauldron? No, I'm good. This is a fuck it we ball situation. We're gonna play Abzi and Dakota was on Rectos. Played Blue Flyer Power Stone Ramp. Nice. Blue White Flyer Power Stone Ramp, huh? I know what Ice Cauldron does, but I'm not building a deck around it. Pause Champ. Pause Champ. I mean, they could just double block, I guess, but. Fatal Push would be such an insane draw step. 
Okay, not fatal push. I mean, I'm just jamming. Disappointment. Yeah, bro sealed is dope, I agree. I like bro sealed. I've been having a lot of fun playing bro. Sealed and limited. I mean, they, they have to double block, right? It's like a force double block. I don't think they can afford not to. Wow. Well, yeah, no, I guess they don't have to. I was thinking that if they double block, they still have a Grease Fang in the graveyard for Can't Stay Away, but... Maybe I should play this at the RCQ this weekend. The Grease Fang deck. I've been struggling with what to play in RCQs. I like the Gruel Fires deck, but I feel like it's just not quite competitive enough. I think that deck's sweet, but... No attack with Informant, huh? Do they think they can jump block? Hmm. Pepe laugh. They are unaware, chat. Our opponent is unaware. <laughs> Our opponent is unaware. <laughs> yeah, reading the card does, in fact, explain the card. Still dead if they put up Arhelion in the graveyard, though. Hilarious. I'm going with Phoenix this weekend down here in Tennessee. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I, the only card I, I don't have, I don't own Phoenixes, or else I would maybe consider playing Phoenix. But yeah, I just don't own those. I mean, they're not dead. They can double block. Okay, now they're dead. Mm -mm, game three, all the marbles. Remember that turn that I said, uh, "Fuck it, we ball." We did, in fact, ball. Yep, ball. I think it was Daryl. I think it was Daryl Ayers who had posted a blue black Phoenix list a while back, which just had like Thoughtseize, Fatal Push, and then I think it, I don't even remember if it had red sources to actually cast Phoenix, but it was just like Thoughtseize, Fatal Push, Cantrips, Ledger Shredder, uh, Pieces, Cruise, Trespass, and then Phoenix. But, like, no actual red sources. Maybe it had, like, a couple of pathways. But I, I think, ultimately, that version is probably just worse than normal Phoenix. It's close. It's close. Like, Thoughts Use Fatal Push are incredibly powerful magic cards. And, like, if you put them side by side by the red cards, they are better than the red cards. But, yeah, that I think that's, like, the biggest loss is no iteration. No Galvanic. Yeah. Because you can't set up, like, the Trespass double time walk turns. So you kind of have to just, like, win the hard way. Well, I wonder, without iteration, do you even play... Uh, do you even play the time walk at that point? You probably still do. Because there are situations where you just, like, kill them with one time walk. I feel like you can probably just get... You, you can probably set up lethal with one time walk, right? You do still play pieces, right? I assume. Can't imagine not playing pieces. Seeking fantasy advice? You might not want to ask me, James. I am, uh, I'm, I'm four and eight. You might not want to ask me for fantasy advice. I had a rough season. Jacoby Myers or Deontay Johnson? My guess is Johnson? Yeah, and to top it all off, I have Lamar Jackson, which makes it even, you know, just that much worse. It's, it's been a rough year, Chad. It's been a rough year for fantasy, for, th for the Doom fantasy team. Saquon D's nuts. I had Barkley Camara. Which Camara was like kind of, you know, not, not, I wouldn't say not relevant, but didn't do that much the first couple of weeks. And I mean, Barkley has been good, but mm, they kept seven. I mean, this hand does the thing, but is the thing good enough on the draw without any interaction on one? I'm going to ship this. Yeah, I think this is a better hand. I'm going to put back the river. I think this is a better hand. You're in playoffs in all five of my leagues for Dynasty One Redraft. Nice, that's awesome, dude. That's sick. Uh, I'm not gonna give them black mana just in case. Hmm. Oh, their hand's really bad without the salvage. Not really bad, but it's not good. Ah, yes. The classic. Think I need a medic. Mm, mm, mm. Surely they didn't draw land plus Grease Fang, right? Surely. 
Surely they didn't draw land plus Grease Fang. Turns out they didn't. Yeah, Salvage is, is far and away their best card. Always stick it with Thoughtseize. Almost always. Like, if they have, like, two lands, Salvage, Grease Fang, I'm still taking Salvage. Almost all the time. They're shocking, but we know three of their cards. wonder why they would shock there. I really want to find a Thoughtseize for this Chariot. I'm going to top this. Gives me two more looks at Thoughtseize. Yeah, I guess if I'm, like, pot committed to finding Thoughtseize this turn, keeping that's fine. Sedge. I guess we can hope they didn't draw land, but... Probably fucked if they drew a land. Oh, they drew another Salvage, but they bricked! Oh no, they hit Grease Fang. Never mind, they didn't brick at all. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. Dead, dead, dead. Alright, chat, unfortunately... We don't have any time for the second deck, because I am starving. I want to get some food. Uh, we, got, we played two leagues with this deck. It took us almost four hours to play two leagues with this deck, but I don't know. This deck is interesting. Maybe there's something here. I, I think what I would want to try is cut the Arcane Proxy package. So, like, cut Arcane Proxy, cut See the Truth, add more one-mana cantrips, maybe even more one-mana removal spells, and find what this deck needs... Here's here's your goal, chat. This is this is your goal for till the next stream till I see you tomorrow. Your goal is to find a two mana card that works with release to the winds because that's what this deck is missing. There's too many threes. There's too many threes. So like the proxy see the truth stuff. I understand that proxy is good with release, but you could also like maybe just cut flesh gorger and only have like proxy. Valky to go with release. Maybe that's a thing you do too, but. Alright, I got you, RB. I got you. But yeah, like this deck's doing some cool stuff, but I feel like the curve is just a little bit too high. And I I like I just don't know how to fix it, you know? I simply just don't know how to fix it. Maybe there's a way to do it, but to give you an idea of what I wanted to try.